we're going to have a look at the benefits of using uh, these types of crimps, also known as bootlace crimps. So I've done one already. Um, here I've got a, a flex outlet, which is switched. Typical scenario of what you'd use one for. So first job is to we just get hold of this, select the right type of crimp for the type of cable that you're using. And today I'm using the 2.5 uh, flex cable and I've stripped the ends ready as you would do. Um, this is purely for just demonstration purposes. Um, I've also made a note as well of the type of crimp. There are actually three different types of crimp that you use, more about that later. So, what's the benefits of these? Well, as we can see from the video here, um, it leaves a, a more robust end rather than just having these, these flexes um, open and the conductors. So, let's get straight into it. So choose the right one, which in this case, the blue one. There's even a little guide on there as to tell you how much to strip back, which in this case, it says eight millimeter so we just simply slide the crimp into place and use a bootlace crimp tool such as this uh, which is a ratcheted system and as we can see it's made short work of that it's also a lot neater especially if you were terminating it inside a board um, just overall better job. So let's get one of these in this terminal block. Um, as you can see, it slides in pretty easy. Uh, let's tighten that up. Um, that is not going anywhere. If that was fully made off inside there, I wouldn't have any problem with that whatsoever. Um, let's see what sort of indentation it's made on the termination end not sure if we can see that okay but it's hardly done anything so this is a piece of four mil and as we can see the age-old problem i've already uh, inserted this and terminated it inside an accessory and you can see what happens to the end without the crimp i'm um, going to crimp uh, an end on to this side this uh, crimp machine is automatic it'll automatically adjust to the size of the, the crimp that you're using and then we can see a much neater much tidier end okay so just for the purpose of this, I'm going to just terminate it into the top of here. As we can see, that goes in very, very snugly. Straight away, there's quite a bit of resistance there, and that isn't going anywhere. So just to remove that, see the damage that's occurred and it's very very little as opposed to this end that has got quite a bit of damage so i think the crimping method is definitely one that uh, more people need to be using thanks for watching please remember to like the video and hit that subscribe button